What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Cosmic Culture, the channel where we talk all major movie and television news, theories, breakdowns, and much, much more. For those fellow Deadpool fans out there, we have an interesting conversation about a potential alternate version of Deadpool who has spoken out and said that they want a piece of the pie. The pie being Deadpool 3, and Deadpool 3 being one of the most delicious pies coming to the MCU, there certainly is a lot of excitement around any character and their involvement in the future of the franchise. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, turning on that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our daily uploads, and let me know in the comment section down below what you think of this news. Bella Thorne wants to play Lady Deadpool in Deadpool 3 alongside Ryan Reynolds, saying specifically, Deadpool is my favorite. It's so raunchy and hello, who doesn't love Ryan Reynolds? Now, if you don't know who Lady Deadpool is, it is a female version of Deadpool. However, she exists and comes from a alternate reality in the comics coming from Earth 3010, and her name is Wanda Wilson. So while we're talking about Multiverse of Madness, the insane crazy rumors and long list of cameos that could potentially be falling into the film, why not add one more just for fun through fan casting and let's put Lady Deadpool. She doesn't exist within the same universe as our Deadpool in the comics. She doesn't exist in Earth 616, but she is a multiversal character. Being called Wanda Wilson shows us exactly how she follows the origin story of Wade Wilson and that's exactly pretty much how it goes to a T. And she has the same scarring on her face. The pretty much only difference here is that she's a girl. Now, we've heard a lot of different rumors, leaks, fan plots, and ideas of how exactly Deadpool should make his way into the MCU. What seems to be the most likely right now is he will have some type of role, however small, in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. And of course, there are a lot of options for how this can work out. He could have a whole scene during the film, maybe during the Wanda vs. Illuminati fight where he's in a jail cell for manipulating time back during Deadpool 2, and then he somehow escapes and follows Doctor Strange secretly, or not so secretly, into the main MCU timeline. There's also a possibility, and we've even heard that there is a post credit scene with Deadpool in it, featuring also Domino, Cable, and Vanessa. So that's another way to bring them over. And then of course, there is another idea that we won't actually see Deadpool in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. However, Deadpool 3 will start from Deadpool's perspective during the Wanda fight, and it will be revealed that he was there the whole time, and that was when he snuck into a Doctor Strange portal. We never saw it in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, but it does happen in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, and we get that information at the beginning of Deadpool 3. Also, a very cool and constructive way to do that, to keep Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, you know, with its serious tones, not necessarily just sneaking Deadpool in there for the sake of doing it, but still at the same time doing that. A very clever idea, and I'd be alright with seeing that as well, and in my mind, that would still have him be a character in Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, we just didn't see him till way later on. But let's talk about Lady Deadpool. Is there room for her in the MCU at the moment? I'm gonna say probably not. Now keep in mind, and yes, I am well aware that this isn't a leak or a rumor that Lady Deadpool is on the horizon and will be coming. This is simply just an actress who wants a little of attention in this role so that maybe she could be cast and have it. Simo Liu, even years before he became Shang-Chi, said, Yo, Marvel, what's up? Kevin Feige, after Shang-Chi came out, has admitted that he hasn't actually ever seen that tweet, and I doubt he'll ever see this one. However, you know, you gotta manifest what you want into the air. Now, if I have to be honest, I would not want to see Bella Thorne play Lady Deadpool. Deadpool is my favorite character, and every subsequent character around him is also you know, a very awesome storyline for me, so seeing Lady Deadpool, I would want her to be played by somebody completely different. If you had to ask me who off the top of my head right now, and I haven't put much thought into this, I'd love to see maybe Vanessa Kirby play Lady Deadpool. I feel like she has the ability to play off of Ryan Reynolds and his humor. You know, it takes a specific kind of actor to really roll with everything that Ryan Reynolds does. He's a very, very clever and creative man. He's red hot right now coming off a of free guy, Adam Project. Obviously, Deadpool is a huge part of his legacy. And don't get me wrong, this is definitely not meant to be disrespectful to Bella Thorne or any of her fans. I just think Vanessa Kirby would play a much better role. 
So would we ever see Lady Deadpool? Because I wholeheartedly do not believe we'll be seeing her in Deadpool 3, and I don't think we'll be seeing her in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. I could almost guarantee you we will not be seeing her in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. But yes, this is Deadpool's third film, but it's also his first film in the MCU, so we will be getting a fourth, maybe even a fifth, of this Deadpool, and who knows what else down the line. So there's definitely room to include characters like Lady Deadpool, and if it's something the fans want, Marvel has proven that they do listen to fans. So if enough of us talk enough about the inclusion of Lady Deadpool, Ryan Reynolds will hear it and see it, Kevin Feige will hear it and see it, and that could be thrown into a fourth or fifth Deadpool film. And frankly, I'm 100% on board for it. No, again, I don't think it's happening anytime soon. Deadpool has enough on his plate, Ryan Reynolds has enough on his plate trying to get Deadpool into the MCU as it is. The last thing we need is somebody coming from Earth 3010 called Wanda Wilson throwing her own opinion and her own thoughts and introduction and origin story into the film. Right now, let's just focus on getting Deadpool over to the MCU and then we can worry about Lady Deadpool making her first appearance as well. But as far as Deadpool 3 is concerned, we have gotten a fair amount of updates. Yes, we've talked about post credit scenes featuring Deadpool and him bringing some people over from his universe, or the possibility of him being in jail at the Illuminati's temple. I feel strongly that we will be seeing Deadpool in Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, and if not, I'll be relatively disappointed and surprised, but Deadpool 3 is not that far away. I expect it to be coming out in 2023, or at the very latest 2024, barring any types of delays. You know, we're still waiting to hear what's going on with Thor Love and Thunder. We don't have even a trailer for that film yet. And Black Panther 2 obviously has also had a ton of delays and pushbacks, which possibly could affect the release of the film. So if those films get pushed back, it's possible Deadpool could also suffer from that, but I really hope that that's not the case. We still don't have any reason to believe that Thor is going to get pushed back. Taika Waititi recently in an interview with Variety said that it's all going to get done on time, it's just not done yet. And we wait, not so patiently, for a trailer for that movie. But let me know what you think about this in the comments section down below. Would you like to see Bella Thorne as Lady Deadpool or would you like to see somebody else do it? I think the character should be introduced eventually down the line. She's a really awesome character and the Lady Deadpool equals two Deadpools. And I don't think you could really go wrong with that either. But let me know your thoughts. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell. I'll see all of you guys for the next video right here on Cosmic Culture.